Hey everybody, welcome back. Thank you all for checking out this video, hitting that thumbnail, it means a lot. If you could perhaps, if you could be so kind as to hit that like button and then hit that comment section down below, that would be greatly appreciated also. Now then, I am about to enter, 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 enter the Prime Candidate Program. Ah, oh, there was a guy here last time. Don't know where he's gone. I suppose the game saved from where I, wherever I left off last time. That's good. Oh wait, I got through this bit, didn't I? I remember now. It's been a few days since I played it last. easier than before. Okay, where am I going? That's P6. P6 is open. I wish things had gone differently in ordinary for us. But wishing won't change things. Ordinary. Finding the projector so will. Much. Coming together in this one case. Uh, a new object of power. Something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's saying something. I the boy. Dylan Faden. Prime candidate six. And the sister as well. I mean, once we catch up with her, but the, the boy. So much potential. We're talking Northmore level readings here. And, and I don't want to invoke his name. It's completely different circumstances here. an incident. Yes. We lost a valuable member of our team, yes. Excessive force. Dylan has so much. He's just a kid. I, I'll take the blame. He, he, he needs some slack. I mean, boys will be boys. He's exceptional and under a lot of stress. Roberts got killed. It's an unfortunate accident. That's all. Marshall needs to realize this. We will make this work. We'll make this work. All right. So Dylan became very dangerous pretty early on, it seems. P6, victim autopsy. And Dylan Faden transcript. Is this what Dylan wanted me to see? It doesn't matter. We need to find that projector. Hey, you got an outfit. Candidate P7. Jesse Faden movement tracking. Anything else? Oh, wait. All the times I felt paranoid. I was right. The Bureau could have given me the answers, but they just stood by and watched me. We used to pray there all the time. Me and Dylan, 
and other kids as well. We loved it. This time, I remember was different. We found a way in, deeper into it, like it had shifted. We went inside and that's where we found the slide projector. A dump is a place for lost things, things that have been thrown away. Did you ever feel that way when you were growing up, Jesse? What? No. Yes, but that has nothing to do with- Was there a slide projector at your home when you were small? No. <laughs> Those were before your time, I suppose. But your family did look at photos together, maybe. In one form or the other? Maybe. Hmm. When was this? Can you remember? At parties? Barbecues? How did it make you feel? Did your parents ever show pictures that embarrassed you? Was alcohol ever involved at these parties? Did your parents drink? Did that make you uncomfortable? No! That's just stupid! Come on! That has nothing to do with this. Nothing! The slide projector, let me ask you this. As a child, did you ever fantasize about worlds inside pictures? Inside a painting? You know, stepping into a painting, into a hidden world, escaping and finding adventure there, away from your parents. I don't... I... I don't think so. I don't remember. Maybe. I don't know. Oh great, there's a big flashing light out there. That's always a bad sign. Find the ordinary or area. Ordinary here. That's the place to start looking. Ah, I see. Prime candidate programs back there, ordinary or altered world event. Turntable and transit corridor. For it, I know there's one over there. I just kicked ass. Oh. Alright, what's down there? I'm guessing a control point. That big red glow. Alright. Leviathan. Dylan and I were both prime candidates. Experiments. Very different ones, sure, but both in a cell of some sort. Am I out of the cell now, or is all this the house of being the director? Just another
we're going back home. Of course we are. It started there, and it's... ...never gone away. There's gotta be a way to rotate these tracks. Maybe there's a control panel nearby. Why do I have to turn these? Like, can't I just fly over there? You'd think I'd be able to do that, wouldn't you? Bridge operator. Yay! One of those weird, like, shaking, like, vibrating things are gonna chase me now, isn't it? Because I know there was one down there. All those mold people here. Whatever they're called. Mold. They are mold people. There's gotta be a way to rotate these tracks. Maybe there's a control panel nearby. Or a giant red button I can hit once. Something's blocking it. Ah, it's the mold. Has to be the mold. Where am I going? I just came through there. Uh, okay, continue. This is the way, isn't it? Ah. I actually made myself jump a little there. Oh, <laughs> didn't realise it. Oh, there you go. There's the staircase. Stairwell. Whoa.
Uh, okay. Uh, we got a plane. For whatever reason. I'm guessing it crashed somewhere near ordinary, maybe? I don't know. Maybe I'll find out. I need a power pack. Power pack. Anybody? Got a power pack? I need two power packs. Aha, uh -huh, there's one. Is it one of those things I'm gonna have to sort of like alter it so I'm using like one at certain times? Is this one of those situations? Uh -huh. No. Ah. Uh -huh. Don't tell me all that power stuff was just to get the elevator. Like finding those power packs was just for this. This better lead somewhere, not just like to another button where I open up another door. Whoa! Hello! Ordinary. Yay. How am I missing? There we go. Third time lucky. How did I miss? I'm right next to the guy. Still there. 
So the population of an entire town disappears, yet the town remains. Tell me, was the phrase, there is no salvation written anywhere? I'm, I'm not sure. The same thing happened in Brazil in 23, a village called Fort Verde. More than 600 people just up and left. The government said they were fleeing guerrilla forces, but we know the truth. A mass abduction, as predicted by my regular guest, Dr. Quincy Raven. Abduction? You mean aliens? That's bullshit! I know they're lying! Now I warned you about the language, caller. I'm afraid we're gonna have to cut you off. And good timing, too. It's time for a short break. Hang in there. America Overnight will be right back. Okay, mass mass abduction in 23 has something to do with this. Uh, right, nothing in here. Let's see what this is. There is a curious correlation with the yet unknowable forces intruding upon our world in the form of altered world events. These forces gravitate toward archetypal objects, a gun, a, a television, a supposedly haunted house. So, clearly humanity affects this process. Our collective unconscious is a, a map of sorts. We hold the key, but we don't know how to use it. We create these archetypes through everyday life, popular culture, urban legends, but we are observing and influencing a complicated system in action. We can change the likelihood of something being a receptacle for these forces just by thinking about it. But we haven't found a method to control the outcome. And yet, there is something unique in us, in our dreams, in the conceptual reality with power, with our minds. What's the cause and what's the effect? Are we the starting point or just a necessary evil in this? A byproduct, a reflection, a projection. We'll struggle to find the answers to these hard questions. Or do I try? Okay. Well, a lot of people did die trying. Ordinary. Altered world. Why does this keep happening? Get out of the box. It wasn't like a big town, was it? Okay, let's see what's there. <laughs> Stage one. the timer.
found the slide projector in the dump outside town. Did they recreate that too? Is that where they keep it? Ordinary dump site. <laughs> uh, that sounds weird. Turntable and transit corridor. But for now, I'm afraid, I'm going to have to call this video to an end because I'm reaching the sort of time marker for the video. Thank you all for watching. It means a lot, I hope. when you visit your childhood home, everything feels small. Like a miniature. Not real. They got that right. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, I hope you've all enjoyed. I hope you've all enjoyed the commentary. Uh, like I said, please remember to hit that like button because that really helps and hit that comment section because that helps as well. But for now, I'll see you next time. Take care all.